you guys knew I had to come over here and talk to my boy Ben. What's up, brother? What's up, everybody? Woo. What's up, Casey? All right, so we got a table full of goodies. You got look how many models this guy's pumping out. This is insane. And then look what we have right here. What do we got, Ben? I was trying to count the models. Casey. How many? How many? Tell me how many it is. Thirteen. Thirteen models. No. Who's the crazy guy that did thirteen models? It's a lunatic, baby. Yeah, some lunatic. All right, what do we got? All right, so I guess I did get a little crazy. Yep. What I did was I tried to get the guys off the sideline who just won't buy a slip joint. Now, they like knives a lot. All right, well, I got one for you. I took the Sharpshooter Jack, which is a gun stock. Yep. I scaled it up. I put a pocket clip on it and a bolster lock. It's got a lock bar insert. It's got a full-length back spacer that's anodized to match the carbon fiber, reminiscent of a slip joint spring. It's got hollow ground S90V, which you guys are used to with Jack. Yep, Wolf. yep. In lieu of a nail, Nick, we have a fuller on both sides, so it's middle Sorry. finger flick friendly. It is, very much for, so. For anybody. And also, it's a flipper. Oh, uh, look at you. There it is. Ben showing the skills. I'm getting good at it. I'm not. You can see the anno from inside the blade well, which is kind of a cool touch. That is really cool. And you can remove the pocket and clip. you can remove the pocket clip. So, as you guys know, I'm a leather slip kind of guy. I carry my knives in leather. I don't prefer a pocket clip. So, in order to carry this knife, I had to have a solution. And so, what I devised is an insert so that you can unscrew the pocket clip from the inside. You have to disassemble the knife. And then you install the insert, reinsert the screw. And then you have a really cool accent that matches yep. the back. I like it. And these slips made by Troy at Northwoods Leatherworks are gonna be available on my website, 40 bucks. The knife is 350. And yeah, it's the first Jack Wolf. With a lock! A lot. What are you doing, man? Blasphemy, perhaps. Mad scientist <laughs> over here. But it is Jack Wolf yeah. knives, not Jack Wolf slip joints. Right, exactly. I do. Well, this is three in a row of you and I talking at these blade it shows. Is. So we got to keep this up. I had to break away from my table because I couldn't go without. I haven't interviewed anybody today. Oh, man. And I couldn't go without talking to you. So well, you I'm were, looking you forward. You my first interview. Yes, sir. I'll never forget that. Very cool. That's cool, and, and I'm assuming, you don't have to confirm this, but there's a blue one, guys. So there's we'll see one. we'll see what comes to KC's mailbox. So will KC get a blue one? Stay tuned. Stay tuned, we shall see. Thank you, Benny B, have All a good right, one, brother. Thank you, KC. All right, you guys know I have to come over and talk to these knuckleheads. <laughs> Gotta come over here. Everything going good today? I like the shirts. Yeah. Man. Styling, man. Yeah. Very, yeah, very nice. Good. Yeah. All right, well, looks like you got a lot of stuff here. Just take me through whatever you want to talk about. Um, yeah, so we brought some V1 Growlers, Pony Stout. Yep. We got the last stout. The right last here. stout. This is it right here, yeah. Oh, my goodness. We got Mash V2s and hardware kits. We got buzzes and circuit tie max spacers and a whole bunch of prototypes. One of which is our U.S. made growler, finally. And it is fantastic. And it's actually made here. <laughs> so, yeah. We're and really it's actually happy. one you're going to be able to do something with. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're really excited about that. We also have the nip. Oh, I got to I gotta handle that. Yeah, that's one we're uh, running on soon. The growler V2 is in production. Lush going into production. And we're about to start something on the Stout V2. Right. These came out great, too. So, yeah, we're having a good time. I like, I like the hollow on that for sure. Yeah, it looks great. Okay, well, I hope you guys have a great show, and thanks for taking the time uh, to do so. Colin, how do you put up with this guy all day? No idea. No idea. We live like three states apart. So <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been waiting for this moment. I get to meet Spencer and Steve from Fitch Knives in person. So, Spencer, great to meet you, brother. Great to meet you, And he, Spencer's going to show us some uh, knives. And, guys, 
What if I told you? Hold on, I gotta turn this around. What if I told you I want from Finch? What if I told you? Think about it. We got it. All right, got so I'm grinning right, right now because my family's life. totally making fun of me, but this is the <laughs> this is the Runtley XL. We launched the brand, as you know, with the Runtley. Right. And um, I love a, the Runtley. It's a fun design. Everyone was saying, make it bigger, make it bigger. So it took us two years to finally make this knife bigger. We did add a bolster to it. We're going titanium. And get I it all the carbon fiber. And we're going carbon fiber. We're going to do a polished version. We're going to do a bead blasted version. This will be late this year. But we're going to finish our year off with the Rutley XL. It's been two years awesome. in the making, but we're finally there. Um, got a couple more for 2023. This will be this summer. This is one of our little budget knives. This is the shiv inspired by the federal penitentiary in Kansas. Okay. Which is kind of kind of a fun story. Leavenworth, right? The Leavenworth, yeah, Leavenworth, yeah. Leavenworth. And then this is our little stinger. It's going to be a little hybrid knife that we'll do probably in August, September. Then right here is our entire, entire lineup for next year. Jeez. And we might bring back the 1929 in the Chernobyl Ant. We don't know yet. We're just getting a lot of people saying, hey, we want to see that knife again. And how we like to do it, designs will come back. But we won't we won't repeat the handle right, material. Right, right, right. So give the guys who want to collect them another option. Yep. And, and so you know I love that year. blue resin you got right there. There it is. That's yours. Yeah. That's got your name on it. That's awesome. So that's next year. We actually are also working on 24, or excuse me, 25, and a little bit of 2026. Gotcha. Awesome. Um, and you just, guys are having a great show. It's been absolutely fabulous. A lot of fun. We are learning as we go. And are um, we all? We will definitely be exhausted and sleep good tonight, but it's been <laughs> overwhelming in a wonderful way. Awesome. Good to meet you, brother. Yes, sir. It's Absolutely. been great. Absolutely. Hey, guys, we're wrapping up day one, and it has been fantastic to meet so many of you. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow. It's been a great day. Thanks for those I got to interview today. Been really, really awesome. Have a good one. Thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.